Welcome back to Favorites with Laura. Today I'm going to do my very first Mask Monday. In addition to doing the mask, I am going to open up another gift that Nona's here sent me for my birthday. I don't know what it is. She had called me and said it was on its way, that it was okay to film the other birthday exchange collab that we did together. Um, and it is still November. We're celebrating our birthday all month. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also going to show you Atlas so. Coffee and Tea Club um, monthly subscription boxes that I have uh, subscribed to. Now, this looks a little bit larger than normal, so I don't know what is going to be in here, but we're going to take a look at that in a second as well. So, Mask Monday. Oh, let me show you this real fast. Well, no, let me get the mask on. So, I did um, I actually went to TJ Maxx and... Um, they, you know, it felt, it felt kind of good because it was like pre-COVID times and the store was bustling. There was a lot of people, their shelves were stocked and they had, I, I don't know, it was just a good like pre-holiday vibe in there. And, um, all, they had all these different masks and I've noticed, um, so I'm doing this, you know, Mary Catherine loves cats, Miss Jackie Russell. Um, I think Carol Gardner does it as well. I'm going to put their links below because I love all these ladies. And um, they do Mask Monday. And I am going to join in. This will be my first one. So I found all these, like, these masks, right? By Cream. And I'm going to give them a shot. So I have I have a few others that especially Carol Gardner has sent me in her package. I think Jackie, Miss Jackie Russell had it as well when I won a giveaway from her channel. But, um... I got a kick out of Mary Catherine Loves Cats last week, or maybe it was a little bit, yeah, I think it was last week. She had um, a printed face mask on, and I was like, that's hilarious. So, of course, those are the only ones I want to do now. So, anyway, I'm choosing this one, Tigger Bounce Burst, because Tigger was my favorite when I was little, um, Winnie the Pooh character. Radiance Booster, Radiance Boosting Printed Essence Sheet Mask, Vitamin C Orange Extract, made in Korea. And it's a Disney one. Um, so I'm going to use this one. And we're going to get into this so I can get my mask on. And this is going to be fun with my glasses. But you know what? I'm going to take my glasses off and we're just going to go with it. And If I can see, I can see. Now this is very, very um, full of essence. And Okay, so I'm going to take this off. So I was like debating, am I going to do this or put makeup on? <laughs> so I decided I'm going to do a mask Monday instead of put makeup on right now. Plus, who can even really tell? I never, I don't wear much. So um, let's see here. I always worry about like ripping base. Now, here we go. Oh, it's not like a kitty though. Like Mary Catherine Loves Cats did. Okay, so let's see. I know orange and essence in my eyes would not feel good, so I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo. Wow, it's juicy for sure. Lots of essence there. Okay, and I love vitamin C. My gosh, that's so good for my skin. I know it doesn't work for everyone's skin, but um, and I always see Miss Jackie Russell do this, and we don't want to waste any of this stuff. <laughs> so, um, Mm, I can't even see the um, camera screen here, so I'm hoping this is going to be okay. And let's see, I have a little mirror down here. Mm, wow, okay. So it's not super, lots of essence on this one, which is fine by me. I can't wait to do one that's as cute as Mary Catherine Loves Cats. Like, that really got me. I was like, oh, that, that makes me want to do it. Okay, so let's get this all over the hands. So before I crack open this other gift that Nona's here sent me, um, I was in Walmart this week, and or last week it was, and I was looking at some of the Christmas stuff, which I know I don't need anything, but it's always nice to like maybe add one little thing here and there. And um, I didn't buy anything there. Um, I actually shopped for Timu while I was in there because I was comparing prices because that's what a good shopper does, right? You compare prices. And I, I saw um, some stuffies in there and 
or squishy squishmallows or something like that um the christmas ones and i quickly went on to timu i took a picture went on to timu and found it for half the price now i think they're about an inch difference i don't know if that's our inch difference or if it will be timu's inch difference but at any rate i thought it was still a cute gift so okay so i think i'm ready to touch stuff so when i was in there though i did get these and i got you know some other stuff for the house so they had these cute little things i had not seen these soap dispensers like i didn't see them last year they had these two i think i got i got three of these and i don't think um there was another one. Oh yeah there was an elf but i i didn't want the elf one i wanted this one these two i got these three i mean okay calm down laura I got three of these. They were $3 each, and each one is a different fragrance. So this Santa's Cookies hand soap right here, and I just, that's like a little pom-pom. How cute is that? Um, so they didn't have a lot of them. They were going fast. Vanilla Snowdrops right here. Let me get my face out of the way. And then this one is super cute, and this one's strawberry. Okay. Now, I just wanted to let you know about that. Now, I'm dying to crack into this. Now, I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of essence in that bag still. Okay. So, those, these masks, I want to be careful because I don't know. Um, you know, I haven't used these masks before. So, if I feel any kind of funniness, I'm going to take it off. I don't want to be on too long. Okay, so I don't want to, so it's wrapped in, so it came in like this Etsy bag, which I know it's not, it's not as Etsy. It's, um, she must have this bag here. There's a cute card in here. So let's open up the card. She did say I could, I could open this up. Came like this. I can't read my card without my glasses. Okay, so it says, being strong, kind, and real, being beautiful inside and out, being yourself just the way you are, that's a lot to celebrate. Being another year wiser and better, that's just icing on the cake. I agree. I agree, Nona. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Laura. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this birthday gift exchange with me. It was fun and so nice to meet you and make a new Timu friend. I hope you celebrate your birthday all month long. Oh, me too. Wait a second. It is still it is still my birthday month, so let's get the crown on, okay? And I have her necklace on that she sent me with my L. And I'm going to, I'm going to all the best, Timu love grump love grumpy grandpa and Nona. Be sure to check the bottom of the. Okay, so I'm not gonna say what that is because it actually said a little bit something there about what this is. Okay, I can see a little bit through here. This is, uh, Nona, I love it. You guys, okay, I'm not gonna show you. It's a sweatshirt, I am gonna show you, but hold on a second. She said be sure to check the ribbing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it says, Favorites with Laura. Favorites with Laura. Isn't that sweet? And it's in pink sparkle. Oh, Nona, it's so pretty. Thank you. I'm going to wear this. This will be really fun. Thank you, Nona. Oh, my gosh. And then down here at the ribbing, that's what it said in the card, in the front here on the left, it says, Made with Love by Nona. Isn't that, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Nona. That is so nice of you. And this will be perfect up here. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. Thank you, Nona. I'm going to have her link below too. So check her out if you haven't. Check out our birthday exchange collab that we did. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was nerve wracking because we weren't sure if the other would really like. You know how you worry about that kind of stuff when you gift to anybody anything, much less somebody you um, just created a friendship with and you're not sure. I mean, I did some research and I was a little worried and um, I think it all worked out well. I love all the gifts she gave me. Um, like I said, she gave me this necklace. I have a... Um, 
Well, you're going to have to check out the video, okay? So check out the video. I'll have that information below. Thank you, Nona. That was so sweet of you and not necessary at all. So thank you for making that, and I'm going to cherish that. Thank you so much. And you'll see it in upcoming vid videos. Okay, so I think this isn't going to stay on as long as I think it's going to because the citrus might be annoying my skin a little bit. Okay, so let's open up this Atlas Tea Club. Okay, I have the Atlas Tea Club and the coffee. I started with the coffee, and what this is is a coffee and tea club that you can, um, it's a subscription box, and you can subscribe to it monthly. You can cancel at any time, um, and they will send you product from around the world. So every time you open up a box, it should be from a different place around the world. And the fun thing about it is, they tell you a little bit about the countries it's coming from. And I have so far explored, oh gosh, I can't even remember right now. It's hard for me to focus. I got a cute new sweatshirt to wear. <laughs> I got this face mask. I'm not used to face mask Monday, obviously. I'm gonna get better, guys, I'm gonna get better. So back to this, so the Alice Tea and Coffee Club. I'll have all the information below, but you can order up. Um, it's loose leaf tea. Um, the coffee can be grounded. It can be K cups. It can be different forms of coffee. You can select that when you set up your preferences and what you like from light, medium to dark roast, different things like that. And they will customize the box at each month for you. Um, very affordable if you buy coffee on a regular basis. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, um, you know, a lot. It'll be a nice treat is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so our tea this month is from Japan and China. Okay, so what I like about this is it's so fun. You get these little postcards from different parts of the country where your teas are coming from. So this one is the Japan here and this one is Japan. Okay, so they're both from Japan. That's Mount Fuji, I'm sure of it. So I remember being in fifth grade reading a story with Mount Fuji in it and all about it. And I've been obsessed. One day I want to go and see Mount Fuji. That's one of my obsessions. So here's the tea from Japan here. And it's, a, uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, Yabukita Black Japan. It's a black tea. Okay, so this is a, it has a fruity bouquet of peach, pear, and red apple and makes a, for a sweetie smooth brew that is refreshingly hot or cold. Honey, peach, and wildflowers are the tasting bits. It has a high octane of caffeine and you use one teaspoon of the loose leaf um, with a hot water and steep for three minutes. Now, it doesn't come with the tea bags each time. I do have the tea bags they sent me in the very first box, and I can't wait to try this. I'm not going to open it up because I want it to stay as fresh as possible until I'm ready to. And then this one here is the Miss Pan White China, and this is a stone fruit flavors, floral aromas give way to undertones of green at to green grapes and white wine as this amber infused infusion expands into a medium bodied brew. And now this is high on the caffeine level. So if you look at the back here, it tells you the level of caffeine and all that. And by the way, I usually do this. I usually show you this card up close. That's still China or Japan, I guess. It's Japan. but. There's a little card if you want to freeze it, zoom, and read that card. It's more history about the tea in Japan. Okay. So those are my two teas. I wish I could smell them right now, but I can't. And, yeah, so I'm excited, and we are drinking that every night. Well, not the caffeine one. We have our sleep time tea at night, and then during the day, I have some loose leaf tea, and I also can make um, ice. Sometimes I mix my teas, and I make iced tea out of them as well. So I'm op opening up our Atlas Coffee Club for the month. 
And this month is Peru. This looks like a lot larger bag too. And Nicaragua, Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Say that a couple times fast. Okay, so this coffee notes on the Nicaragua one is selecting cherries at peak ripeness, having a cheese. Okay, so the sweetness is like toffee and an almond milk like finish. And here's the coffee. So, tasting notes, butterscotch, milk chocolate, pumpkin bread. Okay. I might have to, I might have to brew some of this tomorrow. Um, roasting leveled, dark roast. And then I like it how they, I'm going to hold this up so you can see the impact. You're ending a cycle of debt in Nicaragua. Scan to see how. So, sometimes they have these scan codes. So, I'll hold that up if you want to enlarge it and scan that to see some information about Nicaragua. Okay, and that's a pretty, pretty bag. They always have them in the most colorful bags and they're Ziploc, so after you break the seal on the top, you can reseal it. And yeah, I'm not gonna do that because if you watch some of my other ones, I try to keep these little ones for when we travel or we camp and we have a variety of gourmet coffees while we're glamping or camping. And then there's several postcards in here. I love that. So here's another one of Nicaragua and land of lakes and, vol and volcanoes. So you can say 50%. So I do have discount codes. I'll have the links below. But if you use this welcome 50, um, you can save 50% off your first bag when you sign up for their monthly subscription. So yeah, welcome 50 is going to save you more than my code. So there you go. That's a pretty postcard. I love these postcards. They're so colorful. I'm going to let you see that because nobody wants to hear me read it. <laughs> and then here we have more on the Peru history. So we haven't gotten to the Peru one. Look how big this bag is. So that's a pretty bag. Um, I am going to open this one up because I want to smell this. I love smelling the coffee. i got to be careful though because I don't... Oh, I see. I've been cutting it and look it. I've been cutting it. I don't know if all my bags had that, but I never noticed it before. And you know who turned me on to this? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody turned me on to this coffee club. And oh, I always say that, but this smells really good too. I mean, I can't wait to try this coffee. So looking forward to it. Did I do Peru already? I don't think so. Why does it sound familiar? If somebody's watched it, I mean, I, I could go back. I could look in my cupboard, but I think we've used it all. If we have, it's one of the first ones, maybe. I don't think so, but I don't care. It's good. And that's, that's a good amount of coffee too. And it smells so good. Okay. I mean, it's supposed to be different. So Peru, but I mean, it can come from the same country. Sometimes they just have different regions and different, um, like we have multiple coffees in our country. So, okay. So this tasting notes on the Peru is supposed to be golden pear, butter, and molasses. So like a sweet, it's a medium roast. Did you know? So I know I haven't had this. When I look at the description, I know I haven't seen it. Did you know this coffee is grown in the shade of the beautiful yellow Gaiacan trees? I, I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Here on the northern slopes of Peru. Wow, okay. So this is a pear light complexity paired with a butter, butteriness similar to Chardonnay as the sip finishes. Intriguing and warming notes of vanilla and spice fill out the body and space between the caramel sweet undertones. And then here's a little bit about Peru's coffee history. And then we have this. Yeah, I don't recognize that postcard. So that's awesome. Okay. Let's see. I have to do my nails again. So anyway, so that is my coffee, my tea haul, my new favorite sweatshirt from Nona's here. Some 
quick items that I didn't see at Walmart before. So that's cute. And Mask Monday. So let's take this off. I'm thinking I probably have been on here long enough now. And we're going to take the glasses off. So I hope you like this video. And if you do, remember to hit the like button. I also have a new collaboration that's up. It's the Dollar Tree Train collaboration. And it is uh, Miss Jackie Russell um, and 11 channels all together. So, and Tracy and Chloe's Unboxing Beauty and More. Tracy is fabulous about doing all the thumbnails for these collaborations. And she does the um, advertisement um, entrance to our videos as well. So uh, check her out. I'm going to try to remember all the channels I mentioned and put them below. Um, and then have a look. I have the playlist down there below. Have a look at our collaboration. It's a giveaway. 11 channels. Fantastic ladies and their channels. And um, yeah. So take a look. Like this video. And if you haven't subscribed or you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe now. And hopefully you'll come back. If you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when I have new videos up. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And Wish me well on my next Mask Monday. Hopefully I'll get a little smoother at this. Thank you. Bye.